Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we had finished at the Hilltop Mausoleum. Uh, we defeated the stained glass demon, and we unlocked a new weapon, of course, which was the hammer. Excellent. Now, let's return to the graveyard with our new key. Coming into the graveyard from a slightly different angle this time. Return to the graveyard. The prodigal skeleton returns. You must make your way to the land of the living. But beware, the graveyard guardians. They have a thing for burying bones. <laughs> Don't we all, Dan. Don't we all. So, different angle on the old uh, graveyard this time. Coming in from behind. Uh, we have got the hammer. Used to crack skulls or walnuts. Also... We've got Mr. Organ here, which we didn't read last time. Um, now, I did just play half of this level and realized that my headset was plugged into my PlayStation 4 control pad, so there was no sound being captured through the uh, through the sound card, because I'm a plum like that. Uh, obviously, that's something you don't have to worry about with the Xbox, but on the PlayStation, you do. <sighs> you know, the Xbox is definitely becoming the more feature-rich console, I'll tell you that. Anyway... The imps of the hilltop mausoleum grew tired of the phantom's incessant practice sessions and hid his sheet music away. Bastards. Like most impish plans, this one backfired. The phantom continues to bang the keys, but sorely lacks improvisational skills. Oof. Well, lucky for him, we uh, managed to sort out some new music. We also had the imps. Back in King Peregrine's day, imps were often kept as household servants. Yeah. Sadly, those were cruel times, and many imps were treated very poorly by the masters. Aww. Really, there's no surprise when these cunning little creatures form a secret alliance with Yes. Humans. On the morning of the Battle of Galamir, every last one of King Peregrine's men awoke to find his house imp gone, and along with them, every last undergarment in the kingdom. Never before had an army's charge been so devastatingly broken before battle had even begun. Hmm. Interesting. Um, steal your, your foe's underwear. Well, hmm. <laughs> now I can see that being uh, severely detrimental to morale. And we have severed hands, which uh, I did just show how to kill the severed hands because you need the hammer to do it. Or the club, I believe. But uh, yes, obviously we're doing this level over. Dan's number one fans. They can't afford to lend a hand, but they'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Or at least to the end of the graveyard. Yes. Uh, in the original game, we actually... I believe... Yeah, in the original game, we actually got some money for killing them. One coin per hand. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's hitch a lift. Oh. <laughs> Dan, uh, buddy, you went to... Can we keep all limbs on the ride at all times, please? Yeah, you got one gold piece for killing each one of those severed hands, but uh, unfortunately, not so here. Now, yeah, nice little Brucey bonus here. Get some gold and some health vials. Who's a clever skeleton? Dan is. Remember that there are many more secret areas like this throughout the land of Galamir. Some offering more than just treasure. Really? Hmm, I like the sound of that. Anyway, Dan, come on, my friend. There is evil to thwart. All right, let's grab up. Uh, camera angle, please. Thank you. Yeah, the game's definitely jank. Um, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, dude. <laughs> Zombie, go in the drink. Um, yeah, it's definitely a bit of a janky remake. Could have used a little bit more time in the oven, but it was a budget game, you know? So, it's kind of difficult to fault it too badly. I mean, it has issues, but none of these issues are game-breaking. The only thing I wish they'd really paid a bit more uh, effort in uh, would be the optimization. The frame rate really does uh, struggle at times. Now, these little hands, yeah, so they don't actually hurt you, but we can, of course, kill them. Dude. Oi. They're a lot harder to kill than I remember. And uh, sadly, they do not relinquish us a gold piece like they used to. I guess times are hard, even for the undead. 
in this uh, version of Galamir. All right, well, come on down. Hold the line. Good man. Slice and dice. Come on, friend. Well, I mean, we hit him on the last hit, so that's okay. Oh, God, yes. Headless wonders. Come on, dude. Yes. Yes. Ooh. Oh, God. I really am missing that dash attack that we get. Luckily, ooh, we will be getting that dash attack in this mission. So, I'm definitely looking forward to that. And like I said, there's no real elegant way to do the combat. If this game ever gets <laughs> resurrected, this series, it would be nice to see a, a better combat system implemented. But, you know, it worked 20 years ago and it works now. Okay. This game is definitely pretty. It really is. I mean, I don't think it really taxes the uh, PS4 like we would hope for a, a, a remake, but, you know, well, haha, <laughs> saying that, the frame rate does tank, so I guess it's taxing it somewhere. Yeah, come on, Dan. You know, he's quite spry for a skeleton. Damn it, Dan, you're meant to, you're meant to dodge out the way, honestly. I mean, I know we'll make a warrior out of you yet, but come on, dude. There we go. Sword in the ass. Sorts the men from the boys. What have we got here? Yeah, thank you. The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull. Well, it just so happens we've relieved him of his skull key. As he is no longer amongst the land of the living. We shattered him to a thousand pieces. New enemy. Wolves. Eh, not too bad. You've got to be a little bit vigilant with these guys. They do like to jump, and they are very fast. Come on, pooch. Yes, come on. Time to put old Yella down. We're on 80% of the chalice already. Holy crap. We still got a good bit of this level left, too. Well, that's okay. Continue making progress. Ooh, another book. Want to be faster on your yes. feet? Want to be able to bash down walls by charging into yes. them? Yes. All you have to do is defeat the evil guardians of the graveyard and gain this new ability. Really? You will never know why you left the grave without Well, I'm sold. Okay. Yep, that is a ridiculously useful ability. All it is is a sprint dash, really. Um, it's not that useful in combat, apart from getting away from enemies, but... It is nice. Uh, for traversing the terrain because it really does speed up Dan because he's a little bit well I don't know I wouldn't say he's the slowest character in the world far from it but uh, it's nice to have a bit more mobility all right we found the star rune hmm it looks like we need to get across there Dan but uh, we're kind of shit out of luck so let's have a little look around here we can hear zombies moaning and groaning can't tell if they're having a good time or having a bad time. There we go. Ooh, we're so close. Can we get some more zombies? I don't know what we're aiming at. Ah. There we go. 97%. Not bad. That looks like all the uh, bad nicks out here, though, sadly. Well, let's go down under. Um, you don't get any chalice souls for destroying these, I don't think. Oh, wait. Hang on. I think you do get gold. Wait a minute. Yeah, the actual gold uh, counter came up. So, I guess you do? You do? Ah, you still get a gold piece for killing those. That's really weird. I mean, admittedly, like, a gold piece is pointless. But, you know, every little helps, I suppose. 
Right, we've got another bag of gold here. And some delicious health, which is certainly going to be coming in handy. And there's our chalice. Let's go fill it with souls. Hey, friend. Damn you. Oh, that is a really dick place to uh, <laughs> spawn a skelly bat. Or a zombie, excuse me. Run, Dan. Run. Yeah. Ah, oh, you silly bastard. You shall pay dearly for that mistake with your unlife. Come on, friend. I would say I'd offer you a bite of this meaty ass, but uh, yeah, you can see the problem uh, with such claims. Now, let's go up here. We have two ways to go. Hmm. Where does this lead? Ah, stones. I'll stone the crows. Let's give these a little shove and see what happens, shall we? Looks like we can build a bridge. That's using the old head me uh, skull, Dan. Very much so. Now, do we want to buy anything? Uh, yeah, I guess we'll have some more crossbow bolts. I mean, it's it is a useful uh, it's a useful tool for now. It will eventually be superseded. Please don't waste those, Dan. Thank you. It will definitely be uh, superseded with some fairly powerful long-range weapons fairly soon. All right, come on. Yeah, there we go. Ah, refreshing green ooze. All right, not bad, Dan. Not bad. There's half of the bridge built anyway. In fact, you might actually be able to get across just by using that, but... Uh, Hey, we don't do half a job in this place. That's not what we're about, is it, Dan? Oof, these camera angles. Oof, <laughs> I forgot. Oh, God, hello. Sneaky little sausage. Wow, okay, the crossbow really is not super effective against those guys. Damn, we've just, like, lost all of that health, but hey, that's fine. Come on, Dan. Oh, shit, he's still alive. Dan, we're getting sloppy, buddy. We're getting sloptastic here. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, right, okay, well. No point crying over spilt plasma, I suppose. Or whatever it is, bone marrow. Uh, there's another health vial over here. Yes, spilt bone marrow. That makes sense. Of course it does. Yeah, there we go. Uh... Right. Now, is there anything back here? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Apart from these magical fountains of, uh, well, magic, I guess. I bet they uh, give you a nice breeze in the nether regions. There we go. Right. We should be able to drop straight down. We can. Nice. All right, there we go. Now that's a cooling, breezy updraft, if I ever felt one. Which is what I would imagine Dan would say. Hmm. Well, these don't look like your garden variety wolves. That's all right, Dan. It's all right. We've got these things. Now this... Is a slightly more interesting boss, I think, than the one that we fought in the mausoleum. You have to wait for these guys to attack and then try and chip away at their health. Unfortunately, our weapon selection is not fantastic, so you can see just how little damage we do to them. But that's okay, they're fairly easy to dodge. Come at me, beast! You shall rule the day! You decided to take a stance against our hero Dan. Okay, actually did some fairly decent damage there. Uh-oh. Both at once? No, maybe not. Okay, yeah, maybe. Ah, one's down. Nice. Excuse me. Can you stop trying to take my bones? I need them. Ah, a little bit sloppy at the end there, but uh, hey. Doesn't matter if you win by an inch or a mile. Winning's winning, right? Also, check out this dude. It's a happy little um, something here. You can't actually do anything with it, sadly, but uh, they are st 
dotted around kind of all over the place. Now we have the daring dash. There's no fanfare or anything. It doesn't like say, ooh, we have a new power or anything like that. We just, uh, you know, get it. And this, this is so good for getting around. Right, anyway, let's walk out of here. Oh, actually, before we walk out of here, let's drain this as much as we can. Ah, much better. That might actually top us off. Yes, just about. Nice. Let's get out of here, Dan. Our work here is done. All has changed outside the necropolis. Pearls go this way, pearls go there. Yes. Nasty, painful death waits round every turn and over every... Yay! Bon voyage. Cheers, boss. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Right, now before we end, uh, end this level, let's have a little look here, shall we? See what we've got. Graveyard walls. Isn't nature wonderful? Yes. This beautiful <laughs> family of wolves has found a happy home in the graveyard. Aww. Back in their den, six cute, squirmy little pups are waiting for good old mom and pop to return with delicious, fresh meat. Well, perhaps graveyard meat isn't the most fresh, but at least it's easily found and safe. But let me tell you, elsewhere in Galamere, Vengeful farmers have hunted these majestic beasts to the point of extinction. Oof. Oh, thank goodness this last happy little family is here amid the peace and tranquility of the graveyard where absolutely no harm can be fought. Yeah, uh, mm, maybe we uh, feel a little bit bad about putting them to the sword now. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen these either. I always thought it was a bad idea when they put a demon on their stained glass window. Isn't that a little odd for a holy a little place, bit. I said. What if a passing sorcerer brings it to life using arcane magic, I said. But did they listen? Yes, he might have a glass jaw. But if you think shattering his dark heart is going to be easy, oh, you'd better think again. But, uh, it, it, uh, it was easy. Anyway. Humanity's last line of defense against the restless undead. They prevent bony beings from escaping to the land of the living. Man's best friend, but not Dan's best friend. <laughs> yeah, interesting. So these beasts were only uh, trying to help. Curious. Right, let's get out of here. The Hall of Heroes awaits. Okay, so, talk to the gargoyle. Uh, I don't think the gargoyle is going to say anything new. It's the Hall of Heroes shopping. Yay. Bargain Damn. Look at the dude, out man. The ground floor. Well to do shoppers <laughs> should check out the upper floor. <laughs> That's where it happens. I love the way Dan's just like aimlessly looking all over the place. It's brilliant. Right, so we've got four chalices. I would say we're doing fairly well. Um, unfortunately, these guys are pretty hard to impress. Ah, Iron Hammer. Bravo, Fortescue. Some of the other chaps wagered Zarok would be using your ribcage as a tote rack for really? now. But I knew you cold brew. Here, I have a little extra something here I can give you. Could help the old quest. You want it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Gold. Eh. Not even that much. Like, a hundred gold. Really, dude? Really? You couldn't give me, like, I don't know. Anything else? Ugh. Fine. Fine. I shall take it. But I won't say thank you. Uh, ooh. Have we read this book? To pay homage to the heroes. Hmm. I don't think we've read that book. You know, actually, I thought... Yeah, maybe not. I thought there was a... A thing in here that you could read, and it'll tell you a little bit about all of the heroes. But thinking about it, I think that's a little bit later on in one of the levels. So, ah, uh, we're on 20 minutes, man. I don't know if we... We might be able to finish the next level in 20 minutes. In 10 minutes. Hmm maybe 
Ooh, no, I think it will overrun just a little bit. So, uh, we have two choices. We can go to the Scarecrow Fields, or we can go to the Enchanted Earth. Hmm. I think, well, the Enchanted Earth actually has a hidden level in it, which is a bit of a bastard, to put it lightly. So I think Scarecrow Fields is probably where it's at for us. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can do Scarecrow Fields. I might, as the levels get longer, and they do get longer, I might start doing them uh, as single videos, even if we fall short of our half an hour mark. Just because I think it would be a little bit easier. Especially with how limited my recording time is at the moment. Oh man, those skeletons. They're not skeletons. What are you talking about, you fool? They are, um, scarecrows. They're rather nasty. The scarecrows are almost unstoppable, so don't be a hero. If you can't beat them, try trapping them while you make your escape. Using your new daring dash ability should help you get ahead of them. Mm-hmm. Now, that's true. They are actually really strong. Uh, ridiculously strong with the weapons that we have uh, but if we want that chalice we've got to get them so we are gonna give them everything we have oh god ouch paint paint actually this guy's not attacking us for some reason here he comes yep that does so much damage I think no we have not got him oof Maybe. Really, Dan? Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, God. He was just 4%. So, let's have a look. At the Scarecrow. These straw men spin to win. They have teamed up with the crows to protect their cornfield home from strangers. Whom they greet with sharp. Spinning yeah, we don't really have the equipment to take these guys on. But we don't have much choice at the moment. I literally thought these guys were kind of invincible to start with. We will get abilities later on that make these guys trivial. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, the hammer certainly seems to be where it's at. Right. Ow. Dude, seriously. Right, we might look at all the entries of the Book of Galamir in the next video. I'm really running out of health here just a little bit. Now, we can burn these down. These haystacks down. And we will do that. But... I don't know if we do that, if we get all of the souls for the farmers that are going to come out of it. Beware of mischief makers and metal machines. Metal machines. Who knows what dark sorcery brings their metal limbs to life? It would be good to see the back of such The metals. back of them, you say? Hmm, yes. Well, they're not too bad. In fact, it certainly ain't them that you want to be wary of on this mission. Oh, the farmers. Oh, the farmers. Yep, we're already using a life bottle, but actually it's not too bad, to be honest. Come on. Bring out your dead. Bring out your dead. One at a time. Hey, this hammer's not too bad at the moment. Not too bad against these things at all. Now, there is a lot of life on this level. They do expect you to have a good bit of trouble with these things, I suppose. 
Right, okay. So we've got some fire there, which we can use. Uh, oh, there's another health vial there. I mean, sure. There's also uh, a gargoyle there that we can buy some goodies from. Um, now, let's burn these down. Because usually there's some good stuff in here for Dan. But we do have to be careful because it's quite easy to set yourself on fire doing this, which is a little bit awkward. Right. Okay. Oh, well, you had nothing. You had gold. I bet it's like no gold at all, is it? Yeah, it's like 10 gold. Ugh. Hello, metal machine. Well, we're not going to worry too much about you. Because we know your secret. Oh, I guess we can't actually attack it yet. Now we can attack it. And we can take the head off. Not that we have to do that in front of it. And then the little it exposes himself. Bless him. Ah, dude, you got owned. Talk about getting wrecked. Right. Now, what do we have in here? Ooh, bats. These bats don't appear to give us anything. That's unfortunate. Uh, that's just a club in there. Again, that is rather unfortunate. I suppose we'll take the club. And I guess we can always burn down that haystack in there because why not? We're not here to do half a job. We're going to burn down the hay because hell. These farmers don't need it anymore. Am I right? Dude, can you go away? Ooh, lumped on the head with a flame. Oh, a flaming uh, club. It's a little bit awkward. Yeah, there's another one of those. I don't know what they do. Ah, I can't remember. I think they're just there for show, to be honest. Right, let's go. Uh, I think we're going to want a better weapon. Right, open the door. Let the man through. Ooh. Nice. We'll have some of that. Now we come to the meat and potatoes of this place. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, that's kind of working. Hold the line, Dan. Oh, this sword. Dan, why couldn't they bury you with a legendary sword or something? Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go get a health top up. We know how to defeat those things. We need to use the hammer. The metal hammer. Yeah, you know, I am wondering uh, if we can play this on a PlayStation 5, if this game even works on a PlayStation 5. Ooh. If they will iron out the frame rate. Come on, friend. Boom! Come on! Ah. Oh. Careful now, Dan. Thor himself would be impressed with this hammer. Ooh. Sometimes it doesn't always make the big explosion, as you can see. Never noticed that bug before. It's not a bug. Moron, it's a feature. Yes, now we finally have the silver shield. But uh, it's not as exciting as it sounds. It has, I think, a 250 health. So it's got an extra... Oh, God, this guy's shooting. This guy's shooting at us. But he's too stupid to turn around. That was his last... Oh, God, maybe <laughs> maybe he does turn around. Well, that was his last mistake. Arrows up the arse never hurt anybody. Die. All right. Not bad, Dan. Not bad. Uh, should we stick with the hammer? I think the hammer seems to be serving us fairly well, actually. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Not bad. These fields are home to many mad machines. 
Yet the most bizarre of them is housed within this barn. Yes, there's a very strange contraption housed in that barn. A contraption that we're going to find very useful. Here he comes. Boom. Uh oh, Dan, move. There we go. And again. Ouch, ouch. My face. My bony face. Yep, stun locked. Oh, God. Ah, the stun lock is real. Oh. Luckily, there's a lot of health around here. Death waits in the cornfield. Pick your root carefully right. and do not linger in the corn. I don't intend on it. Yes, if we linger in the corn, we die. Well, we don't exactly die, but we do take a heck of a lot of damage. Um, now, let's have a little look inside. Oh, hey, friend. Come on, Farmer Joe. Say hello to my little friend. Ooh, actually, talking about my little friend, we can unleash a bit of hell here. Yes. Our dragon friend. Yes. This dragon spirit will come to our aid. Kalkatula, the serpent lord, yearns to fight alongside you, but has been captured by Zarok and sealed within a chest. Free this mighty spirit and earn a powerful ally. Yeah, he's pretty badass. He's going to, like, run around the entire level and uh, kill loads of enemies for us. Which is pretty nice of the fellow, to be honest. If you think about it. I believe later on... Um, we have one of those to fight. Which is not great. Well, let's hit the old uh, Majig. And there is some really weird farm machinery. Looks like uh, one of Tim Burton's. Let's grab that. Uh, me, I guess, will have a copper shield. Why not? Now, look at this thing here. Hmm. Some kind of harvester. Dan, can we read the book, please? Dan. Book. Dan. Okay. Kind of glitched out there. Dan does not want to read the book. Maybe it'll let us read the book later on. Okay, cool. Now, let's burn down these patches. Yeah, the game really doesn't run well on this level for some reason. Oh, we've set ourselves on fire as well. Damn, that was silly. Now we've almost... Yes, we can now collect the chalice. Sweet. So we don't care. We can burn down these now. So we don't need to harvest the enemies from them. Boom! But we'll take their gold. Okay. Not bad. Now, where are we at? Uh, right. Cool. Well, I suppose we've got nothing else to do but keep going. Nothing else we can do around here. Ooh. Shit. Dan, why didn't you use... Yeah, you can see just how janky... This weapon is. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm starting to see a few of the bugs in this game. Very hard to activate this weapon's ability, apparently. Even when it's fully charged, I guess. Oh god, sometimes it is not fully charged. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, the Let's Player's curse is in full effect here, guys. I've literally just run through this level pretty much flawlessly. I mean, okay, that's unfair because uh, in my other save, I do have all the good stuff unlocked. Ah, well, I mean, that's some good health back, so... Oof, do not want to fall into that. Damn, boys. Okay, yep. Yeah. Careful now. Careful. Yeah. Oh, I said careful, Dan. You're not listening to me. Careful. Careful means don't hit your noggin on the spikes. Alright? You do that, bud. You're going to have a bad time. Oh, God. Jesus. Merciful Lord! 
There is no mercy in this land of pain. Oh, God. Uh, apparently activating Dan's daring dash is also uh, a bit hit and miss when running on this for some reason. Uh, okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Dan, look, bud, we're going to have to have a little word, you and me. All right. You're going to have to start listening to me. Okay, I'm trying to get you through this the best I can, but if you don't start listening to me, Dan, well, you're going to be a bag of bone meal somewhere, ground up, being baked into some zombie's bread. And I don't want that, because we have a, a kingdom to save, you know? Remember? Do you remember, Dan? Do you remember why we're here? Because I remember why we're here. And you're not keeping your end of the bargain. Anyway, we found a cog for the machine. Let's go use the cog, shall we? And hopefully Dan will actually read the book. Ah, uh, look at this contraption. Jesus. Okay. Uh, there we go. Now that cog said something about uh, a being da a Dan's best friend, I'm pretty sure. Now we can read the book. The corn cutting machine is missing a part. A cog fell off this miracle of modern agriculture, and it hasn't worked since. Oof. Well, that's okay, because we have fixed it. And there the chalice awaits, nestled over yonder. Well, let's get some nice green healing goo. Ah, that feels good. Feels good where it counts. Lovely. Oh, yeah. That's hitting the spot just right. Now, let's go across it. Ah, grab that. And we find a life bottle and some gold. Oh, those life bottles, man. Oh, man. We broke it. Well, that's fine. It serves its purpose. Now, let's get the Jesus out of here. And we actually got quite a lot of these life balls now. We're making some serious progress when it comes to that. Also, this video is nearly 40 minutes long, so yeah. Even if the video is shorter from now on, I think I'm going to have one. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. Oh, skull crushing. Uh, yeah, we're going to have one level per mission, I think. One level per mission? Jesus, Titan. Get it together, man. Uh, one... Mission per video. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Brute force and ignorance. Come on, Dan. Throw caution to the wind or something. There we go. Ah. Pumpkin gourd, dead ahead. The nursery to gather Mia's favorite side dish. Ooh. Step inside and understand the true horror of fruit. <laughs> yeah, Pumpkin Gorge. It's a really cool mission. Anyway, so when we come back... Oh, right, the Hall of Heroes awaits. Now, let's see what uh, we have. Uh, We're up to five chalices. I think there's 21 chalices in total. Pretty sure there's 21 in total. Ooh, what do you have for me? <gasps> a new sword, mayhap. Fortis, you, you jawless arrow man. Hey, now, come on. What are you doing back here? <coughs> what? Call me Mr. Woden the Mighty. Mm -hmm. How I pity the people of Galomere that their fate should once again be in the hands of a chump like hey. you. Still I suppose it's not fair to take it out on them. Take my sword and do try not to stab yourself in the face. Your sword looks. You know, I've always had my doubts about you, Fortescue. You're just not carved from hero material. That's the attitude, Dan. We'll show this chump. So we now have the broadsword. Is the enchanted broadsword? Um, it's very powerful when it's enchanted. The trouble is, as long as we have it activated, that enchantment uh, ticks down. And it ticks down really fast. We can get it re-enchanted. 
uh, at the gargoyles. But it's a hundred gold a time, which isn't too bad. But yeah, that that's expensive uh, after a while. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave this video here. Because my dinner's probably burnt. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Fun was had. And when we return, I guess we have some options. Um, maybe we will go to the Enchanted Earth next, I think. And yes, like I said, I'm going to be doing one uh, level per video from now on. It's just easier, I think. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.